QuickBooks Online 2022 Sales by Product and Service Graph. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Online in our browser, searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Going into the test drive, we're going to be looking at the United States version of it and verifying we're not a robot. Sample company, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services, holding control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that 125%. We're also going to have the free 30-day trial version open just so we can take a look at, at the business view as compared to the accounting view. If you don't have access to the 30-day trial, that's okay. We're just using it for a reference at this point. Back to the sample company. We're going to be opening up a few tabs up top by right-clicking on the tab up top and duplicating it. Back to the first tab, right-clicking on it, duplicating it again as that is thinking. We're going to jump back on over to the free 30-day trial version just to see where the reports are located in the business. View as compared to the accounting view, they are located in the business overview section reports. If you were to change from the business view to the accounting view, which you can do by hitting the cog drop down switching to the accounting view you would have one similar to the sample company that we're looking at now back to the sample company we're going down to the reports on the left hand side which is where they're located on the accounting view closing the hamburger And then let's open up the P&L, the profit and loss, otherwise known as the income statement. Do the range change up top from a 101 to 1 to 12, 31 to 1 and run it. We're going to look at another subsidiary type of report, breaking out the income not by category, but by the actual products and services. Not by basically income, line item, or account, but by product and service. Let's do that by going to the report to the right, or the tab to the right, and then to the reports on the left. Closing the hamburger and then scrolling down to the reports that we want, which are down in the sales and customers area. We did the sales by customer last time. Now we're looking at the sales by product and service. We want just the summary item. Opening that up. This is the stuff that we sold. Doing the change of the range up top from 01, 01, 21, 12, 31, 21 and run. it so there we have it it's a little bit more complex of a re report to make a graph from all we really want is this line however so we can easily edit that as, as we've practiced it thus far just a few more edits to get that information we need notice it doesn't tie out exactly like with the last report to what is on the line item for total income here on the income statement because it is possible to post something to income without selecting a a service item or inventory item but we're gonna work with it here we're gonna export it to Excel let's do the exportation first export it to Excel you do need like Excel if you're gonna export it to Excel so that is a requirement so here we have it we're gonna I'm gonna copy this whole thing now if you're not gonna copy it to the other sheet that's okay but I want to put this on this other worksheet where we've had all these other reports that we've been doing stuff with so we can practice printing it I'm gonna make a new tab here I'm going to call it sales by item graph. Items kind of the old, what we used to call it. Now they just call it products and services, but same thing. And it's less letters for the tab. So I'm going to copy this. Control C, copy in the whole thing, the entire sheet, worksheet. And then we're going to put this in A1 or in the entire worksheet here and paste it, paste it down. So there we have it looks very good now it's a little bit more complex I'm, I'm increasing the size here and i just wanted to i just want to narrow this data down to what i need narrow the data down so i'm going to then i'm going to put my cursor on one to five i don't need that stuff let's trim that off the top trim a little off the top and delete that and then we're really looking at this column right here that's what we want but i don't want any formulas we got these formulas or we could possibly have some formulas down here i don't want formulas so I'm going to right click and copy this thing and paste it back down one, two, three. So there's no formulas and it still adds up down here. So now I'm going to delete all the other columns, which are unnecessary. I want unnecessary stuff gone. Selecting column A, you're unnecessary for the particular job. You're still important, 
but not like for what we're doing here. And then I'm going to select column C on over to G, right click and delete this stuff too. Delete that stuff as well. And then we've got these subcategories. So we could kind of group these by the major subcategories, make a graph of like just the subcategories. Or if we want the actual uh, detailed categories, then we can eliminate the subcategories. So for example, we've got, we've got the design information. This is all adding up right here to, if I add this all up here, this is adding up to get to, hold on, my sum function's not working here because it's got these, let's see if I can, I'm going to take this whole thing, copy it and paste it right here, paste it, one, two, three values only. And it's still got this reference where it's saying number stored as text. Okay, let's convert it. It's stored as text. I see what they're saying. So let's, I'm going to undo what I just did. And it's, it's in there as a text. So I'm going to try to use this formatting of the cell, which is Calibri and 11, and format the entire worksheet. So I'm going to format this thing and then format the entire worksheet. So there we have that. Then I'm going to right click on this and we're going to form, we're going to format this worksheet and go to currency and brackets around it. Let's remove the dollar sign and get rid of the pennies as has been our formatting custom. And it's still in there as text. So that's unusual. What I'd like to do is see if, what if I get rid of the comma. Now it'll, it'll go into the prop. So I'm going to double click on them and go and then take it so it removes this formatted as text which is kind of tedious I'm sure there's got to be an easier way there's got to be an easier way but this is what I'm going to do because there's not too many numbers I'll just double click on them to reformat it as a number you're a number you're not text you're a number act like one line up to the right side not the left side let the right side line up your decimal points the way numbers are supposed to line up add up and then I'm going to delete the total down here. Let's t delete that. So there we have it. Now I'm just going to look at these by category here. So so we'll just we'll just look at the main categories and make our graph, which will be a pretty small graph. But we got the design, and then we got all the detail that are within uh, the design area. So if I, so this like these three are adding up to the fountains, which is the two six seven zero, and then we've got the total fountains so this is the total fountains and these items are adding up to the to the 3603 so what i'd like to have is the total design here so i'm going to remove basically all of this stuff and just look at the total in my graph so i'll delete all this stuff and then i'll just make this design instead of total design i don't really need the amount thing up top i'm going to delete the amount delete that and then i've got the landscaping stuff so all of this is landscaping down to total landscaping so i'll just delete all this stuff and i'll just call it landscaping for my total down here landscaping and then pest control they got total pest control so i'll just delete this stuff and delete and then total pest control and then you got non-specified which i'll just say other down here and then i'll delete this so it's a not a very not a lot of activity going with it, but then our categories are there. We can make a nice simple pie chart out of that. If I total this up, if I sum this up, did I mess anything up? Let's sum it up. It adds up to the 10, 280. That, does that still tie out to my total here, which was 10, 280? It does. So I didn't, I didn't mess up the numbers. So let's go ahead and then put our, put our table around it. We can go into the insert and we can tableize it. The set of cells are going to be tableized. They've been tableized. It's already in descending order, but let's do it again. Descending order. And then, then this is going to be our items. And then the amounts. And so then let's let's go ahead and pie charterize it. Pie chartized. We're going to insert. Go into the pie chart. Pie chartization. There it is. Get rid of the title. And then we're going to hit the drop down and say maybe this this one is okay. So not a whole lot 
of activity there on the pie chart so we can put the numbers in there and everything maybe but yeah let's just that there it is that's the pie chart so then i might want to put that on another tab so i can add the other tab here and i can t i can call this wait i didn't want two tabs just one tab this is going to be sales by item graph i'll put a dot by it because this first one i want to say this is sales by item data and then i'll take this graph control x cutting it or right click and cut it and we'll put it over here so that it's on our page over here and then we can landscape it landscape for the landscaping company i can landscape too like in excel and then it's not doing it so sometimes i have to like check the pay, the print preview and come back to it to landscape it but then let's do one more graph let's say let's let's add what kind of graph does excel recommend we can say what do you recommend excel in your charts area insert charts what do you think is a good graph and once again they got this graph and this one let's do this kind of fancy graph this one is one you don't see as often i don't think it's quite as nicely nicely formatted that's why maybe you don't see it as often but it's different and we want to, we want something to stand out we want to stand out from the crowd the crowd's over here and we're like standing out in it so i'm going to say let's cut that and then let's paste that down here somewhere there we have it let's make it let's change the color could add a different color to it formatting it different color so that's good Mui b to the n bn all right let's see if we can then print it i'm going to hide the data tab now let's right click on that and hide it so that when i print this thing out it doesn't show the data tab right click and hide it and then i got to be over here somewhere where i'm not in like the the hidden cell area so it, the cute pdf printer won't get messed up and then i'm going to go down and print it with the cute pdf printer printing it to a pdf the cute pdf printer is free so you can check that out and do this if you want to and so we're going to select the entire print the entire print the entire workbook the whole thing 20 page novel we're printing out right here you novel written in numbers 20 page novel written in numbers and if i go all the way to the end there's our two new ones now they're still on they could be bigger if they were on landscape let's see if it lets me landscape highs it now we're doing this for a landscaping company it'd be nice if we can put a page in there that's landscape there it is scaping the land i had some land and i scaped it so here we're going to say let's bring this one a little wider and this one a little wider the land has been scaped landscape let's print it again check it out ultra base so now we're on let's do the entire workbook so it won't let me print it notice here it won't let me do that because i'm on these tabs to the right if i go to the tab to the left it lets me do it then and i think it's because of the hidden cells but it's not going to stop us it's not going to stop us we want the entire work book 21 pages now we added another one to the novel it's a long novel it ends with the picture in the picture book with a pie graph a bunch of pie graphs so we should probably put a title on it and stuff but you know which is just an example problem this is just an example let's print it out it's going to save it as a pdf and it's doing so not just as any pdf but the cute pdf printer is going to make it apparently a cute pdf i guess there's such a thing it's taking its time because there's 20 pages so you got to give it a little bit of time there it is and then we'll save that there save it and then we'll check it out save it and check it out let's go find where we put it right in here somewhere that's where it is and then we're going to open that p to the d to the f up p 
PDF, scrolling down to those last few pages of the storybook of the novel that we put together based on these numbers. And we've got these beautiful pictures that tell you not really the whole story, but they're colorful. So they might, you know, you know they might be useful for that reason, if nothing else.